the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Hallelujah. Throughout the endless ages, you will be crowned with praises, Lord. Most high, exalted in every nation, sovereign of all. Someone will help me do that song somewhere before I start to teach. Just help me. Just play a flowing sound for me, if you will. Good evening, everybody. I start tonight by honoring our fathers profoundly. Thank you. We love you and we honor you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Let me again honor our bishops. Thank you. Thank you so much. Fully honor you celebrate you and um, pastor julian and your dear wife thank you thank you your pastor and his lovely wife um, without exaggeration are two adorable people they really are we had we had a little time over at lunch and um it was amazing the keenness of spirit as we began to share very deep spiritual things I believe that when God himself makes for a convergence like this it is to open us up to new dimensions in the spirit and also to shift us to new levels in the spirit hallelujah I came in here and I met the woman of God just pouring her heart in worship the atmosphere just responding to that which God is doing I want you to be sensitive to what God is doing in Kenya not just what God is doing in this meeting hallelujah I believe that there is a shift that is coming to Africa and I believe that all of these strategic nations are playing very very prophetic roles and the things that will be sharing tonight by the Spirit I pray that the Lord will grant us first the fortitude for understanding and then the grace to walk in light of it let's hold hands together if you will and just pray in the spirit as a family of faith in one minute lord we bless you lift your voice and acknowledge him he's a mighty god the doer of wonders thank him for all of the servants of god Thank him for the word, the revelations, the miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's all right if we can find... Okay, Freke, sing it for me. Praise the Lord. I just felt in my spirit to sing that song from the ends of the earth. It's a prophecy. We are lifting a shofar. To the nations that rejected stone called africa out of the shackles is rising again for the bible says there is hope for a tree there is still a remnant that will call upon the name of the lord so as he sings i like for your heart to be open afterwards we'll just sit for the word praise the lord yes sir. 
From the ends of the earth From the ends of the earth From the depths of the sea From the depths of the sea From the heights of the heavens From the heights of the heavens Your name be praised From the shafts of the wind From the shafts of the wind seated hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord Mark chapter 16 Mark chapter 16 this is after the resurrection of Jesus He's back to life and he's admonishing the disciples finally before his ascension. Verse 15. And he said to them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Just keep that scripture there. He said to them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature the interesting thing about this scripture is he did not say go around he didn't say go towards he says go into now if if you are asked to go into a room if you are in that room you shouldn't be seen from where you were sent you should be in immersed in that system if i say go into the lounge i don't expect to see you here again please understand what i'm teaching he says to go into the world and then he says preach now it's very interesting he says preach it means you must find out what he's saying preach the gospel not to men to every creature that means the effect of your going should affect systems not just men preach the gospel the content of your message if it is true and if it's properly communicated must have an effect 
on both animate and inanimate things as a witness that it is the gospel the gospel was not only designed for men listen very carefully the bible says for god so loved the world not just men men being the zenith of his creation but not the only creation of his and the bible says creation was subject to vanity not men so the the, the liberty that would come is not just to men but to creation keep that scripture there so go ye he's giving an instruction he didn't say discuss he didn't say wait he didn't say deliberate he didn't say have some kind of um um political debate go ye enter the system when you are in the system he says preach ensure that everything within that system comes under the influence of your message are we together now revelations chapter 11 please and verse 15 interestingly this is one of the core scriptures for our ministry and the seventh angel sounded and there were voices in heaven help me kenya saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our lord and of his christ and he shall reign forever and ever so now we're talking kingdoms we're talking territories are we together now jesus is giving us an instruction and he's saying to enter a system to familiarize yourself with that system and provide a compelling dimension of power over that system bring the system under the influence of your message now what we have largely done and that is profitable what we have largely done as the body of christ is to go around and seek to propose the gospel of salvation to men in hope that they will open up their hearts and receive the life of god that, that is powerful and for many years we bless the lord for all of the missionaries who have come from the u.s who have come from europe you know and brought this great gospel we are recipients of that sacrifice many of them died in africa their graves continue to stand as a memorial that they spent their lives and gave their all for the gospel but then we continue to see that there is still trouble because something about our not understanding the instruction of jesus is not revealing the fullness of his life and his power because he didn't say to go around and talk to men he says to enter a system that meant that we needed to understand the entire scope of the gospel the gospel is very i'm starting very carefully tonight because there's something i want to introduce the gospel has only been received especially in africa as a message that saves and that is very powerful that is very true but that is incomplete there are two dimensions to the gospel the first dimension is the message that saves the message that saves is the revelation of the love of the father the bible declares revealed in and through the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus the son are we together our receiving that gospel will culminate to having what the bible calls the way the life of god this is the gospel of salvation are we together but there is a second dimension to the gospel the gospel as an ideology the gospel as a mind control system the gospel as an instrument for territorial dominion this is the dimension that has seldom been understood and taught so the limit of the gospel for the average african is the impact of the power of god in his heart and that is wonderful but our system and our territories are yet to testify that the reality of this salvation has come twofold 
one the message that saves and the jurisdiction of that message is the heart of the recipient that once you receive my receiving the gospel my receiving jesus christ will not give you salvation it is personal are we together now i can share it by proposing the same gospel but you must believe are we together now but then there is the part of the gospel that we can extend towards a territory the ideology there is the gospel does not stop as a message that saves the gospel extends as an ideology that institutionalizes god within a territory now please listen you have to understand this this apostolic dimension of christianity has largely not been understood in africa so we have many christians sincere christians well-meaning believers who love god but the territory refuses to bow to the lordship of christ and right now darkness continues to loom around the horizon of africa there have been many pharaohs who have arisen that do not know joseph neither do they have regard for the god of joseph and if we do not balance up our understanding of the gospel and our communication of the same we are not just going to lose money that's a little issue we are not just going to lose positions we are going to lose a generation the side effect the effect of not understanding this truth is that we're going to lose more than material things we're going to lose more than reputation a generation is at stake the ideology of the gospel the mind control system of the gospel that means that the effect of the gospel should transcend and move beyond my personal encounter i should bring a territory under the influence of that gospel are we together yes the most uneducated person in kenya knows coca-cola he didn't have to go to school to know it the influence of coca-cola reached the village and although it's not a software it is something that is hard and real they superimpose the influence of that ideology you would frown and fight any wedding that does not have it represented <laughs> literally you will fight and frown at any it doesn't matter even if people choose to go organic you will still give them the option there when coca-cola is finished in a store you will not get a substitute you will leave and go somewhere else and look for where it is now that exactly listen carefully they have done something to your mind when your phone is missing your mind is disturbed until you find it or buy another one remember the phone may not necessarily talk to you they have connected you to the ideology of that communication you will literally lose your life and your peace because a little metallic object is outside of your influence please understand what i teach your car can be stolen and you can get sad contact the police and say by god's grace but this little object on your hand even if it is missing you are restless you will call it such bend look how far look the look at the skills that you employ in order to restore that object now please i'm going somewhere and i want us to understand this as heavy as it is it has become an instrument of pride you hold it with joy what would have been an embarrassment years ago you hold it with joy it is proof for many of wealth it is proof for many of affluence it is proof for many of enlightenment it is proof for many of being um, part of the realities of a generation i'm just giving an example with that phone when your data is over you are restless you have to find a way of renewing when your credit is finished you will move left right do every kind of thing to put it there now listen to me the gospel was designed to work like that 
if we have to depend on evangelical meetings alone to save men men will not be saved I'm trying to be as modest as I can be because um, because of what I want to tell you the strategy for kingdom advance in fact the concept of kingdom has hardly been understood by church please listen carefully we have written books we have brought together bible colleges we have taught everything from character which is profitable the fear of god ethics of ministry um and all kinds of principles of theological exegesis we understand scripture we have stretched our intellect from border to border covered different dimensions different curriculums but we have missed the kingdom and so we have all kinds of people who stand like i taught in the morning as witnesses advocates of the interests of the father and they hardly understand his agenda we have founded churches upon this mistake we have founded conferences upon this mistake we have founded bible schools upon this mistake now this mistake has nothing to do with being good or bad it is the limitation of our understanding this is why god is putting conferences like this are we together now and so we have a people who are very zealous we have people who love god people who can die for him but isn't it amazing that with all the churches we continue to have in africa and i'm speaking from a standpoint of love we continue to have churches and branches and our territory has no witness that god is within this place it means something must be edited about our spiritual understanding something must be under edited about our approach to kingdom advance the average teenager today in our world and in africa has an outspoken resentment for spiritual things are you isn't it amazing that regardless of cultural barrier the effect is still the same that means someone is winning while we lose and we need to return back to understand the ways of god there is jesus the way the methodology we have to learn his ways the bible says in jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16 to stand in the ancient path and to ask the ancient path is not the path of a denomination the ancient path is god's original strategy are we together now yes And so the concept of church has almost become something that is just a religious experience for many. I am going to church. What does that mean? Ask an average believer to explain what he just said. And you will be surprised how confused he is. And that person is going to be the preacher. What does it mean I am going to church? I'm challenging you for a reason. I am going to church okay what does that mean what should I experience well I'm going to sing I'm going to worship I will hear the Word of God and then leave to what end then they say join me go to the church you say I, I don't have a problem going but what am I going to do there say just keep going it will help you and prepare you for heaven what does that mean the frustration that we have in our christian experience is proof that something about the ways of god is not understood and you see there are alternatives now this is what makes it dangerous there are alternatives now alternatives that seem to resonate to the frustrations of the average christian and if we do not do anything about it a time will come let me tell you our pews will not only be empty but history will judge us for not handling this baton well and passing it well i came tonight to open your eyes to a very deep mystery to open your eyes to something that is going on that we are not seeing the ideology of the kingdom the average believer knows nothing about kingdom the average believer knows nothing about kingdom advance 
it's unfortunate that sometimes even we great men and women of God that love Jesus with all our hearts we have all kinds of ideas but the accurate understanding of the strategy allocated for kingdom advance and the strategy that captures a generation for Christ is not known we have all kinds of ideas on how it will happen we talk a lot about revival and i believe it i'm a student of revival and i have been used by god here and there to plant those seeds of revival it's an honor he's granted me but i submit to you we don't know what we're saying it is true it's an uncomfortable truth but it is true our results show it we don't know it we have to submit ourselves to the rabbi of the ages we have to in to ask the holy spirit not to come and join us but to lead us because we something is wrong with our understanding spirit of the living god we are not asking you to come and join us in our confusion but to come to clear the air because there is an army that must rise with understanding are we blessed let's talk a bit about kingdom advance is that all right and then we'll pray what does it mean to advance the kingdom the bible says that the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our god and we his christ and he says that we shall reign forever and ever and so what what we have to understand the concept of kingdom advance please write if you're writing let's just do a little bible study kingdom advance refers to any and every scriptural method any and every scriptural method deployed any and every scriptural method deployed to enthrone Christ and his purposes in the hearts of men and across every strata of human activities I believe there will be provision to get the tapes any and every scriptural strategy deployed to enthrone christ and his purposes first in the hearts of men and then across every strata of human activities this is what we call kingdom advance kingdom advance is not about preaching it's not about singing it's not about doing business we are at liberty within the coordinates of scripture to invent through creativity any strategy at all that can lead to the enthroning of the christ across the hearts of men and across every strata of human activities listen to me whoever is not doing this today on earth is wasting god's time the deploying the coordinate scripture is our boundary as believers so we are we are given the liberty to walk within the coordinates of scripture and through the ministry of the holy spirit our partnership with him to come up with the various ways are we together now that we can deploy a mind control system that culminates to enthroning christ first in the hearts of men you call it salvation you call it new birth but then across every strata of human activity so when the comedian our dear brother was talking and when the other one was talking and when the woman of God was worshiping in God's mind it is the same he is not interested in the unique method he's interested in the motivation and the power that sponsors it now if you do not understand this we will lose a generation <laughs> the deploying of any and every scriptural strategy scriptural provided is within the coordinates of the word to institutionalize god in the hearts of men and to spread his influence across every strata of human activities this is kingdom advance if that can happen through a church service then the church service is advancing god's kingdom if that can happen through giving back 
then giving birth has now become a ministry if that can happen through singing then the singing has become a kingdom advancement strategy if that happens through business then the business so it is not what we do that there is a central motivation that behind everything i do behind the creativity and the excellence and the skill all of the labor is geared towards one goal to see that christ and his purposes are we together now are first planted in the hearts of men and then the influence spreads across what you call the seven mountains please listen to me very carefully we must educate a generation to know why we do what we do not just that we do it kingdom advance every church worker should know this so while you are ushering people in and someone says i'm not interested again your insistence to have him come is not just to gain more membership for a church you are motivated by a higher desire that this man may lose an opportunity to understand something about the kingdom that becomes your basis of doing what you do very well when you prepare and you excel as you minister you are not just motivated by a desire to be famous that will come but the agenda is bigger than fame is too small a reason for god to invest such grace on you now listen very carefully the bible talks about two women in scripture called one called hannah and the other called penina are we together now the bible says that hannah could not have a child for many years she would go to shiloh return back and penina had children and penina continued to communicate what looked like mockery over hannah notice that hannah continued to go to god and cry for help but her prayer was not answered because there was no kingdom in it god could not find a space in her desire where christ will be glorified and his purposes now hannah paraphrasing now went back this time around and said lord i know what you are looking for you a body you need bodies that represent your purposes can my womb have the honor of bringing one of the bodies she prayed once only once listen i have learned from scripture and by experience that the key to getting god's attention is not rolling on the ground it is the degree to which your life aligns to kingdom come more than fasting more than prayer more than bible study the key that causes god to invest his jealousy upon a man and stay there until you rise is the degree to which his kingdom can come through you listen very carefully i have seen that it is not difficult for god to lift the people it is not difficult for god to lift an individual the only issue is what there is nothing kingdom that is represented in our desires it is within his power to make rich it is within his power to grant a man influence it is within his power to cause a nation and a generation to hear you but to what degree will his purposes be represented in your pursuit the difficulty in our christian experience is 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 a misrepresentation of god's potential it looks like god is slack it looks like god is slow but the key is that god is vetting the purity of our desires until he finds himself there you are not going to get his attention you may cry god is touched with the feelings of your infirmity but he's only moved when he finds himself in your agenda for your glory i will do anything just to see Hold you as my king for your glory. I will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king. 
want to be where you are. Gotta be where you are. Want to be where Surrendering your heart is not the key to salvation. Believing the gospel and receiving his life is the key to salvation. But surrendering your life is the key to be used by God. Please understand this. The condition to be saved is not to give your heart to the Lord. It is to receive his life. But when it has to do with doing business with God, within the context of a generation, the price is death. I have said it again and again that the price for all of God is all of you. Until all of you, not your money, leave your money, leave your car, leave your skill, leave your talent. No. Until you die. It's a realm in the spirit called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. It's a mystery. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. And this life today that I live in the body, I live by the faith. I am motivated by another reality. I have lost touch of my ambitions and my desires. I have brought everything under like a woman submitting to her husband. I have become a bride and a bride indeed. His desire has become my obsession i do not seek anything for myself my desire is for him to be glorified john 17 and verse 1 jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven to pray and he made a statement that was very interesting he says father the hour has come glorify now thy son that thy son that's the formula that's the formula that if I be lifted from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. And because they cannot see me, they will see you who is the object of the sacrifice. But when they come to you, you are smart enough like an usher to redirect them. Are we together now? Pastor and his wife acted my message so beautifully here. When Pastor ushered, his wife gave her an opportunity to share a few things and she turned back and beautifully honored him. I said, this woman understands kingdom. Because you see, in theology we call it the reflection principle. Nobody can glorify himself. Your glory is invested in another. And the excellence of what comes out of you is how you are glorified. Are we together now? So, the father cannot glorify himself. His glory comes from the son. The son cannot glorify himself. His glory comes from the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit. The church cannot glorify itself. The glory of the church comes from its dominion over principalities and powers and creation. It's a principle of shared dominion. It is the son that glorifies the father. It is the church that glorifies the ecclesia, that glorifies the son. And it is the dominion of the church over creation. That is where the glory of the church is. So it is important for us to understand that this call to the faith life that we call Christianity is not a journey unto pain and frustration in hope that we'll hear the sound of a trumpet one day that is that is a very well-meaning but destructive ideology it is the kind of ideology that has produced the social economy that we see in africa is the kind of ideology that has been responsible for the prevailing power of darkness are we together very very important and so we must understand therefore that we are not fully carrying out what we call the great commission just because men are getting saved that is one side of the victory but is being cancelled out by the loss of the darkness that looms over a territory dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the vigil to yourself 
share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye! Pray! Pray! Pray for your destiny! The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.